Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Stephanie. This is going to be the book and author signing events tip video combination compilation. Okay, so welcome to the channel. If you are new here, um, I talk about romance in all kinds of content. Um, I found that people were asking for this video with a polycon coming up. Uh, there has been a lot of chit chat and talk and things like that about some tips and tricks for how to go to and be at uh, author and book events. Well, I put that together over on TikTok, which is what you're going to see the clips that I put together that I produced and, uh, put out on TikTok. However, there was a good amount of interest in people that don't actually have TikTok um, or don't have TikTok accounts, don't go to TikTok, things like that, um, that asked for me to put it here on my YouTube channel. So I'm going to do that. What you guys are going to see, like I said, are the TikToks that I had put together and um, just combined together into one video. Now, there are a few things that I talk about over there on that um, through those tips and tricks that I didn't have the visual aids to show at that time. So I figured I would show them to you now or throughout the video. Yeah, you'll see my face pop in and out. Alrighty, tip number one in this um, series of finding book conventions and author events is to find these these events, right? So you're going to want to check out the authors that you want to meet. Say you have read a bunch of books that you are truly, truly enjoying by a certain author, go to their website and check them out. Look under their event section and find out when they're going to be touring and going to these different events. Now, there are some authors that don't attend these events, but there are a bunch of authors that do attend events. So search those authors websites individually also connect with them over on the the face of a uh -uh, and um you know check out their pages their author pages they like to you know talk to readers there and uh communicate in times that you are able to see them a really fun way to jump into this whole world because it can be sort of intimidating is to check out your local bookstores and when they are going to have events. I act, I'm actually located in a very good area for, um, for book events. And, um, yeah, I mean, I can like check out quite a few bookstores in DC. And if I wanted to attend those events, I could make sure that you have sort of in your mind how far you are willing to travel for a book event as well. Um, for myself, I have a three hour um, travel limit. So if it takes me more than three hours to get there or three hours to get back, um, according to the map, then uh, those are the events that I try and attend. So I attend a lot of events that happen in Maryland, uh, DC, Virginia, Pennsylvania, and in that sort of area. So go out and find authors that you want to check out because you never know who's actually local. Tip to number two in this book conventions and author signing event tips. Um, so you found your event, right? And you have figured out that you want to go to it. Start researching the promoter and the authors that are going to be there. Make yourself a list of new to you authors and start reading them because you, you go to an event to see maybe one or two authors, but you will end up finding a whole slew of new to you authors that you could possibly uh, end up loving and enjoying so much more. Connect with these authors on social media. That was one of the uh, tricks from tip number one, but also do this after you have found the event. Because once you start reaching out and branching out, finding those new authors, you're going to want to start connecting with them, finding out what their books are about and everything like that. Now, here's the fun part, or not really fun part, but get ready for the Hunger Games. For those bigger book conventions and author events, it is like the Hunger Games to get tickets. And most of the tickets are sold a year out. Now, if you don't get a ticket or you're just finding out about the event and the event is coming up, start checking out those um, sell and trade threads because 
there is going to be ultimately people that buy tickets that are unable to attend the uh, actual event. So they may be willing to sell you tickets. And most promoters, most event um, promoters are very big sticklers on the fact that even if you do um, do a resell sort of ticket thing, it's always for the price that, uh, or is usually for the price that the ticket was originally. So you're not going to find a whole bunch of price, price gouging or anything like that. So there you go. Go out and get those tickets and find new authors. Next up is ticket is tip number three. So you have your tickets now and you're getting ready to go this event. You're really excited about it. You have no clue what's really going to happen at it. Um, if you're a first time person, what have you. So get your hotel rooms secured in the location if it's going to be something that you have to travel to or if it's going to be a multiple day event you're going to want to try your hardest to be in the hotel in which this event occurs in um a lot of the times the event planners will have um block ticket or block rooms and everything like that for a specific rate once again, make a list of all of the new to you authors or go through the author's websites that are going to be attending. Find those new to you authors, challenge yourself to read and step out of your comfort zone of more than just the you know handful of authors that you initially were going to go see and research the event, the event rules. Make sure that you're finding out if you can take carts or if you have to have bags, um, how many are, how many items you can have signed and things like that. Find out what your specific event rules are. There are some general ones, but every event is very different in their protocols and everything like that. So check that out uh, immediately and start connecting with other attendees. Um, I know we don't like that Facebook, but that is where a lot of the events um, especially for romance, uh, book events are still being held over there, um, and have pages and things like that. So go check those out. Just start connecting with them all over the place, all the other social media plus spots and everything. So check out those other stuff and start connect Tip number four of going to and attending book conventions and author events is preparing this is for the sort of six to 12 month um, range of happenings before the event occurs. So start reading those attending authors that you have not read before. Um, decide what you want to bring, which books you want to bring or which books you want to pre-order and check out those author um, pre-order sheets and things like that. Make sure that you are up on the uh, closing dates for when those authors will be closing their forms for pre-orders. Decide what souvenirs you want to take and what souvenirs you may want to have at the event. Now that could range from having boards in which you get signed like these, or you could have a souvenir box where you get signatures like that it could be books it could be a whole variety of things those are just a couple of the things that i have gotten in the past um as souvenirs or things that i made so start thinking about that creating those in your mind because in the following tips you're going to start want to make to make them uh purchase your bags as well if you are able to have carts then make sure that you grab those I have a couple different styles, so this is one of them. It has wheels to it and everything like that. It's a little deeper, um, so I use this one for mostly like my smaller events and things like that. This cart right here is my usual go-to cart. There's a lot of space in there, and you can put a lot of books in here. I love this one. This is like my, my jam. It folds up nicely, and when you're not at events it can just be hidden away and it's fairly inexpensive you can get it from amazon or walmart or anything like that um for the souvenir boards you can get these at michael's and create them yourself um that's what i did i just put the um the dates on here and 
I painted it red and then had everybody sign on it. Um, for this one, this one, I just left it white and put the logo on there for the event, which has the dates and everything like that. Had them sign around it. Um, I did Mod Podge this one so that it's a little shinier, as you can see. Um, so that it would hold the signatures a little better and you were able to read them. Tip number five uh, for preparing. This is at the three to six month sort of range before the event ends up happening. Continue reading those authors that are new to you so that you have a wider range of people that you are going to go see at this event. Um, prepare your networking items. I always have um, business cards that have all of my social media stuff on it. Uh, this year, I was able to put a QR code on the back of my card. I don't have them with me um, because they are in in transit right now uh but i have new ones for this year but if you get them in bulk you can take them to multiple different uh events just make sure you don't put the date on them uh and you know go forth from there it makes things a little bit easier when you are talking to new bookish friends you may meet or the new authors um like i said use it as a networking event because you will go and talk to these new to you authors and they may say something in their elevator pitch to get you to read their book because i don't read blurbs so i use elevator pitches if an author can pitch me a book to read is very good chance that if they can pique my interest, I'm going to read it. Uh, and then double check your pre-orders. Make sure that you're staying on track for those if you've already paid for them or if you need to pay for them. Just keep track of which, what you have pre-ordered. And we're off to another tip. I also talked about how my when I attend book events and author signings, I use them as networking and as a networking event for this channel, for my TikTok, for content, um, and possibly getting on art teams or uh, advanced reader copies, things like that. So I use a Vistaprint. This is not a sponsored video. I have been using Vistaprint for, gosh, like six or seven years now. Actually, since I started going to book events um, in 2016, I found that it was so much easier to um, get a business card made from Vistaprint. Uh, they are fairly inexpensive. I think I purchased five, I got the 500 pack and it only cost me like just above $30, I think it is. Um, but, and that is because I got the shiny version for one. Um, I also have a back on here. And this year I included my uh, logo as well as a QR code so that people would be able to just scan it and get straight, go straight to my link tree. Uh, so they don't have to necessarily read all of the small information right here. Um, and I give these out to the authors, to the PAs, to book friends that I end up meeting at the events and things like that so that everyone can connect with me. But I love that I get so many of these and I can just hand them out all over the place. Um, I find myself handing them out to people that I meet on the streets or um, we start talking about books and I'm like, hey, do you know about this book or do you know about that book? How about you check me out with this card and things like that? So that is another helpful trick. Alrighty, tip number six is still preparing to attend. This is the three months to just weeks before the event ends up happening. Make sure you have paid all of your pre-ordered books, uh, get those invoices, print those invoices out, or just have them saved in a local spot. So once you get closer to the event time, you can print those out. Um, make sure you're creating a packing list for things that you're going to take, depending on however you're going to travel, if you're going to uh, take a plane to wherever you're going, or if you were driving, make sure that you have all that in your mind um, when you decide you're going to go. Are you going to need to find out where a post office is so that you can send books back? Are, um, do you have a weight limit? Are you going to have enough room in your car? Are you picking someone up? Are you going with someone else? Are you going to need a uh, space for uh, the books that you plan on getting? So that should all be running through your mind at this point, um, sort of on that high level. Uh, make sure you print out your maps of the event space as well as um, the author list and things like that. A lot of the times these will come just weeks before the event uh, occurs. The 
uh, promoters usually send those out, send you links and things like that so that you can print them out. Start planning how you're going to move. Get it sort of in your in your brain. That can probably go to like the um, like two weeks before, week before type things. Um, I also like to write on my author list, you know, who I pre-ordered from and make sure that I have those receipts sort of screenshotted and everything like that uh, together. Make sure that you're double checking your hotel reservations or your travel plans. Make sure nothing gets canceled because like I said, it was Hunger Games to get these tickets um, a year ago. There could be computer glitches, hotel changeovers, uh, management, things like that. You want to make sure that you are all set to attend this event and have the most fun without anxiety. All right, tip number seven is the week or two weeks before the event ends up happening, make sure that you print out, uh, as you saw in the last tip, your, uh, or screenshot, your pre-ordered receipts um, so that you can have them just in case there is a problem when you get to the event and uh, you can say, hey, no, I have this and I paid for it and everything like that. Most authors are super amazing when it comes to pre-orders and things like that. And they are on top of it. Their PAs be doing their thing um, and we love them for it. So just that's just a little extra security for you. Pack your bags and your books. Make sure that you have your books tabbed. If you are taking books with you with a little tab on the front, I'm just going to grab a book here. Um, so you're going to tab it like in the front page on like the title page, put like a little tab up here on here with your name on it. So that it makes it easier for the author that needs to sign the book uh, to just open up to that page and you don't get any creases or anything like that on your books. Um, so it helps the PAs as well. That's another thing. That's like a little pet peeve of mine, like the whole creasing thing, but that's just me. Um, double check your event rules because sometimes, um, especially now that we are sort of moving into the opening up post Panini Press, um, although we're not out of the Panini Press, um, the, you know, rules change and things like that. But make sure that you know what your rules are, i.e. if you're allowed to have carts, if you're not allowed to have carts, things like that, you need to know those rules before you go to the event. If you need um, assistance while you are there, uh, because lines are going to be long, you need to make sure that you're reaching out to the promoters. A lot of promoters um, have point people that if you need extra accessibility, um, if you have a service dog, or if you need... Um, accessibility devices, the, reach out to them, let them know that that needs to happen. And they are usually more than welcome or more than happy to help you with that. Uh, make sure you're going to the bank and withdrawing um, a small amount of money in small bills. Uh, sometimes the internet gets overloaded in these locations and uh, swipes and cardless readers and things like that don't work. You wanna have smaller bills so that you're not making a uh, a whole bunch of authors break larger bills because if everyone brought larger bills, we wouldn't, we would, we would have issues. We would have issues. Okay. Let's get to tip number eight because it's a doozy. Okay. When I talked about doing my own signature blocks or signature pages for the event so that I did not have to take all of my books with me, this is what I'm talking about. These are my personalized sort of book stamps that I'm going to have author sign on. I have a list of how many signature plates that I need for each author with books from the books that I have down here uh, that I bought during quarantine and things like that. So I can now have them sign on here and then I will be able to place that sticker into the books that I already own. So I don't have to lug them around because a polycon has a no carts rule. Alrighty, tip number eight, I had to break into two sections because it's a doozy. As I said, uh, this is the event time. Whoop, whoop, whoop. You are super excited, probably a little anxious to attend this event. Um, make sure that you packed and wear comfortable clothes and comfortable shoes because you're going to be standing in long lines, even for the smaller events, the more intimate events, 
if a lot of people know about it, a lot of people may attend, you may still be standing in line for, you know, five to 10 minutes. For the larger events, get ready to stand in lines for, you know, 15, 20, sometimes 30 minutes. It depends on, um, on the event type and how it's moving, how it's progressing, what people have, other people have brought and things like that. Um, if you're bringing a whole lot of books, uh, you should know the rules of the event if it's, you know, if they have a limit of how many people or how many items can be signed or if the author has a limit of how many items can be signed, things like that. Get ready to be patient because like I said, big and small events means lots of people, lots of congestion, lots of people trying to, you know, enjoy this, this time as well. Um, like I said, make sure you have small bills, make a priority list from that map and that author list, um, and map out sort of your priority authors that you want to see. That is going to be the best thing. Don't go in there flying willy nilly, because if that is going to be your thing, just be ready to be disappointed, especially with larger events with hundreds and hundreds of people attending. You're not going to be able to see everyone. Map out which authors you either have pre-orders from or are your priority authors that you really, really want to see. Um, if they're ticketed authors, make sure you get those ticketed wristbands and things like that so that you can make sure that you try and get in to see those authors. And check out part number two. Alrighty, tip eight B. Whew, hopefully we see these in order. Probably not. But 8B is if you are allowed to bring a cart, make sure that you pack it efficiently um, according to the priority map that you have already created. Um, and you know where your books are. Make sure they're tabbed, like I said, so that you can just pull them out. Once you get to those tables, you can start talking to the author um, once you get up to the head of the line and you can move officially. If you're not able to bring a cart, then make sure that you have good bags um, as you go along. Some events will hand out bags that you can carry your books around in. And then other events, or if you have a collection, you can get bags like this and things like that. I had some other bigger bags, but I can't seem to find them right now. Um, so carry multiple bags, get ready to be lifting them off the floor, putting them on the floor, off the floor, on the floor, off the floor, things like that. If they have rollers on them, that usually consists or is considered a cart and they're not too highly of that. They're not, they're not very friendly when it comes to that. So don't use the bags with cart with wheels on them. If there is a no cart rule, make sure that your phone is charged up and that you have extra charging outlet um, power packs because a lot of the event spaces, they have limited electrical outlets or the electrical outlets in the hallways or in the rooms are being used by the authors um, and you don't want... In, you're going to be in the middle of the space where you're not going to have access to them. So make sure you bring your own power packs as well as having your phone charged um, initially. Now, as when it comes to hotspots, like I said, these big events are going to have a lot of people on the internet with them. So your internet's going to be running slow and you don't want to like get interrupted. So if you're able to have a hotspot, make sure that you bring your hotspot with you. Um, be ready to talk to strangers. Don't let that anxiety that you may have built up or um, have those feelings or stuff, stuff like that um, throw you off. Get ready to talk to that person behind you or talk to that person in front of you while you're waiting in line. You're all there to talk about what you love, which is books, and um, you can make a new book friend. Uh, make sure you have some bottled water because some rooms can get hot with all those extra people and we want you to stay hydrated and do your best overall just have fun and um so yeah. i found i hope that you found all of the tips that i have provided in this video helpful in some way or another if you want me to elaborate on any of the tips or anything like that please feel free to leave me a comment down in the comment section as always if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel also there is a feedback form my author suggestion form and my author interest form for the Let Me Introduce You series down in that description box. You can find my PayPal, my Patreon, and all my other social links down in the description box as well. 
hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you in another video if you come with me tonight i can show you things you've never seen if you come